Are you a huge fan of the Benjamin Moore color white dove, but have no idea what colors to use with it? This is Fast Five, where I'm gonna give you five color pairings for white dove, ranging from a bright white to some deep, dark, and daring colors as well. The colors that I will be mentioning are Benjamin Moore paint colors, just like White Dove, although you can think of them as pieces of a larger color palette that you can not only incorporate on your walls or your trim, but also with your furniture, area rugs, and accessories. But if it's easier to just think of them as paint colors, that's cool too. I'm a huge fan of White Dove, so much so that I've talked about it in several videos. So if you would like more information on it, I'll link an episode of Color Code on it down below. But today's video is all about the color pairings themselves. So let's get to it. Starting things off with the white color pairing for White Dove. Sounds like a trick question, right? Why would you want a white paint color for another white? Well, luckily, White Dove has just enough warm colorant used inside it to feel a bit different to something like super white, which is the first pairing. I wanna quickly talk about light reflectance value because that's super important when talking about colors this light especially. The LRV is the zero to 100 light reflection score that determines how much light a paint color reflects. And as it gets closer to 100, the lighter it will look. White Dove and Super White, they only have about a four point difference, which is pretty minuscule. But why I like these two together is they have a very similar feel to them. But Super White just comes across as much more stark and clean feeling without feeling aggressively bright either. I wouldn't call Super White cool, color temperature wise, but it sure feels that way next to White Dove, which will have its warmth pushed to the forefront a bit. It's an interesting choice because their level of depth is pretty close, which means you can use them interchangeably in certain spaces. And even if you wanted to use super white on the trim and white dove on the wall, it'll be an extremely subtle look, but the difference in undertones should be enough to qualify one another. Probably my most common use of these two colors together is to have white dove on kitchen cabinets and then have super white as the surrounding trim color on all of the baseboards, doors, windows, and frames. And there truly seems to be just enough of a difference for them to be able to coexist. My light color pairing for White Dove is a neutral that just has a touch of warmth. And it is one of my favorite paint colors to recommend because of its ability to work with so many different situations. It's Balboa Mist. And although it is my light color pairing, it has a reasonable amount of depth with a 65 and a half LRV, meaning it's almost flirting with mid-tone territory. To me, Balboa Mist is one of the quintessential grayish colors, which translates to a warm yet still fairly pale gray that suits a variety of different interior design styles. It's still light enough to incorporate itself within more minimal designs like modern or huga or scandi. It's also rich enough to not feel like a stark white or a boring primer-like color. So that way you can surround it with lots of other colors and textures. It really is a color that does no wrong, at least in my experience. I would never recommend blind buying a paint color and just putting two coats on everything before you even get to test it out. But Balboa Mist is one of those easy to recommend colors that I'm more likely to hit rather than miss on, if that makes sense. The mid-tone color pairing is within the same wheelhouse as Balboa Mist, although because it's darker, it naturally has more prominent color saturation. Still easy to use, still relatively neutral. The color is Thunder, the color named after a sound. And ever since it was announced as part of the Affinity Color Collection, it has been growing in popularity due to its richness without compromising on versatility. I wouldn't call Thunder the darker version of Balboa Mist, even though they do contain some beige and gray components. Thunder gets its name from feeling a bit stormy, and that comes from its added dose of gray, creating a slight green undertone that is even more prominent next to warmer colors like White Dove, our subject of the video. You know I had to get green in there somewhere. I'm even wearing a green shirt today. For those of you that don't know me that well, green is my guy, or gal, depending on the day. Thunder isn't green, it just has a slight touch of it. And it will be more or less prominent depending on your lighting, your flooring, your furniture, all of that. At times, it almost feels like a light greeny taupe where you may see a bit of brown as well. But all of these shifts are subtle, which adds to the fun of using it. 
at least in my opinion. So just a quick recap, we have our white in super white, we have our light color in Balboa Mist, and we shifted to midtones with thunder. And now we have our dark color pairing, which has been taken from the Color Stories palette by Benjamin Moore. Those are all the colors that are notated with CSP. You might have heard of them. One of their newest colors, and it is beautiful. I wanted to take a step away from the neutral warm tones and give you something that's described by Benjamin Moore as the following. In the little chapel, bright moonlight filters through the glasswork, casting a blueness across the pews. We got all kinds of blueness with our dark color called stained glass. How dark, you ask? Well, this color comes in at a 13.15 LRV, and even though stained glass can come in all sorts of colors, the paint color named after it ends up feeling like a beautifully rich shade of blue-focused teal. Honestly, there's about as much green in stained glass as there was in thunder, which is not a whole lot, but there's enough to prevent a purple undertone showing up that dark blues can sometimes have. There's something so rich and dynamic about this color. It really differs itself from Balboa Mist and Thunder and really complements the warmth in White Dove pretty beautifully. Although this color seems pretty dynamic, it is not my daring color pairing, which is something a bit different. And that's also our fifth and final one. Blue and off-white is kind of a typical color pairing, so it's not super exciting, although it's beautiful. And that's why I took things into a fiery direction with Firenze, our daring color pairing. This is another color from that beautiful affinity color collection we talked about. It's a slightly rosy clay orange, and it's extremely rich in saturation and does a fantastic job at really popping off of that stained glass blue we took a look at. It also coordinates with White Dove because they both share that warm aspect pretty perfectly. It's the daring color pairing that really takes the whole palette to another level. And you can not only use this as an accent piece, but you can incorporate it into your accent furniture for an energetic pop. Here's a video going into some more details on White Dove specifically, and you'll also find some other suggestions for it there too.